Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome guys. My name is Yaka Zaman. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day enjoying yourselves. This is my YouTube channel Roots of Knowledge. Hope you guys are benefiting from the videos. And if there's any questions you guys have, please leave them in the comments. Hit the like, subscribe button. And let's get on with the series then. This series is dedicated to helping you guys to understand the Arabic language, not just the Arabic language, but more specifically to understand Arabic poetry. So this is the poem that I've selected for today from the one Sayyidina Ali. أنا أخو المصطفى لا شك في نسبي معه ربيت وصبته هما ولدي جدي وجد رسول الله متحد وفاطم زوجتي لا قول ذي فندي صدقته وجميع الناس في ظلم من الضلالة والإشراك والنكد الحمد لله فردا لا شريك له He's Ana Akhul Mustafa. I am the brother of the Mustafa. Mustafa is from the word Safi. Istafa Yastafi from Bab Ifti'al. It means the one who was selected, specially selected. I am the brother of the Mustafa. I am the brother of the Prophet. La shakka fi nasabi. There is no doubt at all in my lineage. Now, obviously, Ali radiallahu anhu is not the biological brother of the Prophet. But this is brother in the sense that family member, he was the cousin of the Prophet ﷺ. And this is no problem in people saying, this is my brother, if they mean it in that way as well. Ana akhul Mustafa. I am the brother of the chosen one, Mustafa. La shakka fi nasabi. There is no doubt in my lineage. Ma'ahu rubitu. With the Prophet ﷺ, I was brought up. Wasibtahu. Whilst his two grandchildren, why, why, whilst his two grandchildren, Hassan Hussein, huma waladi, are both my children. Jaddi wa Jaddu, my grandfather and the grandfather of Rasulullah, Messenger of Allah, Muttahidun, are the same. Abdul Muttalib, wa Fatimu Zawjati, and Fatima is my wife. La qawladhi fanadi, not the statement of the one whose mind is, is inferior. Saddaqtuhu, I believed in the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa jami'u nasi, whilst all the people in Mecca were fi dhulamin, were living in darknesses. Min dalalati of deviation, of ishraq, of committing shirk, of nakad, of turmoil in the society. Alhamdulillah, all praise belongs to Allah, fardan on its own. La sharika lahu. There is no sharik for him, no partner for him. Al barru, the one who is the kind, generous one. Bil abdi with the servant, for the human. Wal baqi and the one who is everlasting. Bila amadi without any. So ana akhul Mustafa. I am the brother of Mustafa, and there is no doubt in my nasab, in my lineage. Ma'ahu rubitu. Shak means doubt. La shakka. Right. So if you know in the Quran as well where the word shak comes from in the comments, nasab means lineage. Ma'ahu rubitu. Rabba yurabbi tarbiya. Right. Rabba yurabbi tarbiya. It means upbringing. Right. So it's from the word rabba yarbu as well to go up. So this word, some say that it's actually from the word for Rabb as well. Right? Rabb Allah, he does tarbiya of his creation. So, ma'ahu rubbitu, I was nurtured with him. Meaning, me and him were brought up together. Now, technically, Ali radiallahu anhu is very young, very young. He was about 10 years old and the Prophet ﷺ was about 40 years old. So that means that he was obviously not brought up with him at the same time. So, ma'ahu rubitu. All this could mean that I was brought up when I was young. I was brought up in the care of the Prophet sallallahu So, the Prophet sallallahu according to the books of Sirah, brought up Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So, ma'ahu rubitu with him, meaning in his care, I was brought up. Wasibtahu sibt. It means grandchildren. Right? So, grandchildren from the daughter. The Arabs call it the the sibt. Right. So, if you go no another word for for grandchildren, and in the Quran as well, bring it in the comments. Sibt, Sibtahu, the two grandchildren from the daughter. Huma waladi, both of them are my children. Meaning, I have children who are from Fatima radiallahu anha, who is the daughter of the Prophet sallallahu and therefore the Prophet sallallahu grandchildren are my children. Right. So in other words, this is considered to be an honor as well. Ali radiallahu anhu, he is showing some people out there who have doubt in Ali radiallahu anhu, who have been criticizing Ali radiallahu anhu. And he's saying, why are you criticizing me? For I am from the lineage of the Prophet ﷺ. I was brought up by the Prophet ﷺ. And his grandchildren are my children. Why would I be a deviant? Or why would I have gone astray? Jaddi wa jaddu Rasulillahi muttahidun. 
my grandfather and the grandfather of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, are muttahid. Ittahada yattahidu, it means are one, right? unified. And that's obviously because the Prophet's father was Abdullah, his grandfather was Abdul Muttalib. And Ali radiallahu's father was Abu Talib and his father was Abdul Muttalib. So they both joined at Abdul Muttalib. So he says, My grandfather, Jaddi wa Jaddu Rasulillahi Muttahidun. Ittahada yattahidu from the word wahda. Right, the word Tawheed actually comes from the same asal as well, same origins. Right, so Ittihad means unification. Wa Fatimu Zawjati. Fatima is my wife. Fatimu is a short version of Fatima. So in the Arabic language, you can do something called, um, you know, cutting off letters, right? Nahat. So you cut off letters, let's say your name is Harif, you can say Hari. Right, if your name is Malik, you can say Mali. Fatimatun can be Fatimu. Yeah, Fatimu. So, wa Fatimu zawjati. Fatim is my wife. Yeah, so, short for Fatima. Fatima is my wife. La qawla di fanadi. La qawla. Not, not the statement. No, there is no statement of the di fanad. Qawl means statement. The possessor. And fanad means someone who has weak understanding, weak intellect. Someone who's mentally, who is not up to capacity isn't able to uh, you know, come out with a strong argument so he's saying la qawla the one who is accusing me of things he calls him the the fanad la qawla the statement he's making that i have some sort of enmity with the prophet sallam, or i am deviant etc this has la qawla this statement has no value at all saddaqtuhu wa jami'un nasi fi dhulmin saddaqtuhu there's no kasra uh, here this is from the other word okay so ignore that Saddaqtuhu, I believed him, right? So when the Prophet ﷺ was given wahi, Saddaqa yusaddiqu tasdiq, it's from the word siddaq, which means truth. I believed him, wa jami'u nasi, whilst, wa haliya, whilst the people, whilst all of the people in Mecca, fi dhulamin, were in darkness, were living in darkness. Yeah, so dhulma, it means darkness, dhulum means oppression. So in other words, Whilst I accepted the message of Islam when I was very young, tender age, he was approximately 10, 11 years old, he accepts Islam. He says, Sadaqtu, I believed in the Messenger وسلم, in Mecca when there was no one else out there who was believing in him. Jami'un nasi and all of the people in Mecca were in dhulam, were in darknesses. Dhulmatun is one singular and dhulam is plural of this. If you know in the Quran as well where this word appears or some of the derivatives, put it in the comments below. Let's see how. Well, you guys can identify words in the Quran. Mina dalalati from dalala. Dalala means deviation. Ishraq. Ishraq means uh, shirk, making partners with Allah. Right? So, ashraka usually called ishraq. In the Quran, Allah says, May you shirk billahi. Whoever does shirk with Allah. Um, and so, this word appears in the Quran time and time again. Right? So, I want you to complete this first. May you shirk billahi. Finish it off, put it in the comments below. When nakad, nakad means like uh, a situation of turmoil and difficulty and hardship and burden. You call it a nakad. So I believed in him, saddaqtuhu wa jami'un nasi, whilst all of the people in Mecca at that time were in darkness, layers and layers of darknesses. And what were those darknesses? Min dalalati darknesses of deviance, darknesses of shirk, darkness of nakad, of hardships and difficulties and racism and problems they had all of this comes under the word nakad alhamdulillahi all praise alhamdul belongs to allah fardan fardan him and him alone right fard means singular so him alone singular la sharika lahu who has no partner at all la sharika lahu means no partner at all again um, this is actually if you know the talbiya labbayka la sharika lak labbayk yeah, so in there, لَبَّيْكَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَكَ لَبَّيْكَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَكَ Oh Allah, there is no sharik for you. There is no partner for you. So all praises to Allah fardan who on his own. لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ Who has no partner at all. Albarru Albar is one of Allah's names. The one who is the most generous or the one who is the, the, the one that takes care of. Kind. Bil'abdi with the servant. He is barr. Ra'uf with the servant, he's kind. Right? So this word actually appears in the Quran. Bir 
on the other hand, bir is with a kasra. Bir means um, good good deeds, pious deeds. It's called a bir. And bar is the name of Allah. Actually, bar also means wilderness. Right? So outside of the city, the place is called the bar. Kharaja il bar. Right? So al bir is good deeds. Lays al bir an wujuhakum. Allah says, the bir, piety is not that you simply just turn your face in this and this direction. Piety is for you to believe in Allah and the messengers, etc. So, al-barr bil abdi. Fine, let me know in the comments what would be a good translation of barr bil abdi. I'd like to see your translations. Al-barr bil abdi. Wal baqi. Baqi is another name of Allah. He is the one that is everlasting, remaining forever. Baqiya yabqa. Bila amad. Amad means duration of time. So we have amad. We have a duration of time we're going to live for. We are not baqi. He says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the baqi, the one that is everlasting, remaining. Um, I'm just trying to think in the Quran, does Allah mention the word baqi? Right, if he does, then put it in the comments below. Amad, period of time. So, alhamdulillah, all praise belongs to Allah fardan on his own. Who is on his own, la sharika lahu, who has no partner with him. Al barru bil abdi, the one who is extremely kind and generous towards his slave, towards the human beings, towards us. Wal baqi, and the one who is everlasting, remaining bila amadi, without any end point, without any duration of time. So, if you kind of look at this poem, it's a very powerful poem Ali Radiallahu is presenting. Actually, he's actually showing us the honor that he has because of his attribution to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Not only is he the cousin of the Prophet Sallallahu which is almost like a brother from the same lineage, grandfathers are the same. He was brought up in the family with the Prophet Sallallahu's house. His grandchildren are the Prophet Sallallahu uh, are, are uh, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu grandchildren are his children from Fatima, who is his wife, and anyone who makes any such statement is really a fanad person. Zu fanad, a person who has you know lacks understanding, lacks intellect. And not only that not only is he proud about the lineage that he has, but he's also mentioning about what he has done in the past. How dare you accuse me of all of these things when I was the first person to accept his masadaqtuhu. And as all the people in Mecca were living in zulam, in dalala, in isharaq, in nakad, and at the end praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That it's because of Allah's kindness that he's reached this level. Alhamdulillah, who is far no sharik. Who is Barr bil Abdi, kind towards the slave, Al Baqi bila Amadi. What a beautiful point. Taib. Yaqul, Ana Akhul Mustafa. Ya ayuhan nas, Isma'u ilayya. Ana Akhul Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yani Ana, wa Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ka anna na akhawain. Ka anna na akhawain. La shaka fi nasabi. Hunaka laysa, laysa ahad minkum, o min ayy ahad, yastati an yatan fi nasabi. Wa yaqul anna nasabak. نسب غير صحيح لا بل نسبي هو نفس نسب النبي عليه السلام معه ربيت مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في تربية النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كنت عندما كنت صغيرا وصبتاه وحفيد حفيداه حسن والحسين هما ولدي هما أولادي وفاطم زوجتي وزوجتي فاطمة منها هي أنجبت ولدين لا قول ذي فندي لا القول ذلك الرجل الذي يعني فند عقله يعني خرب عقله فسد عقله صدقته أنا صدقت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم آمنت به وجميع الناس في ظلم عندما كان الناس جميعهم يعيشون في الظلام في الظلمة من الضلال حيث كانوا في الضلال وفي الشرك وفي النكد في, في يعني كانوا يشركون بالله سبحانه وتعالى يعني يعبدون الأصنام وكانوا في نكد كانوا في عصبية وأمور شاقة في المجتمع الحمد لله فرد جميع الحمد جميع المحامد لله سبحانه وتعالى فقط فرد لا أحد معه ولا شريك له يعني ليس أحد يقدر على ما يقدر الله سبحانه وتعالى البر بالعبد هو الذي يرحم العبد الذي ينعم عليه يرزقه والباقي بلا أمدي والله سبحانه وتعالى هو ذلك الـ 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 الذات الذي سيبقى وكل شيء يفنى ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام جزاكم الله خير Thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this 
So let's just translate it then, inshallah. Ana akhul Mustafa. I am the brother of the chosen one, Mustafa. La shakka fi nasabi. There is no doubt in my lineage. Ma'ahu rubitu. With the Prophet sallallahu I was brought up. Wasibtahu was his two grandchildren. Why? Why? Whilst his two grandchildren, Hassan Hussein, Huma Waladi, are both my children. Jaddi wa Jaddu, my grandfather and the grandfather of Rasulullah, Messenger of Allah, Muttahidun, are the same. Abdul Muttalib, wa Fatimu Zawjati, and Fatima is my wife. La Qawladi Fanadi, not the statement of the one whose mind is, is inferior. Saddaqtuhu. I believed in the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa jami'u nasi whilst all the people in Mecca were fi dhulamin were living in darknesses min dalalati of deviation, of ishraq, of committing shirk, of nakad, of turmoil in their society. Alhamdulillah, all praise belongs to Allah fardan on its own. La sharika lahu. There is no sharik for him, no partner for him. Al-barru, the one who is the kind, generous one, Bil Abdi with the servant for the human. Wal Baqi and the one who is everlasting Bila Amadi without any end. Jazakumullah Khair. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you to all my patrons who support my channel on a monthly basis. May Allah bless all of you guys. If any of you guys want to become patrons, support my channel, please check it out in the description below. Uh, share it with others. Maybe there might be someone else who wants to support my channel. It means a lot to me. Appreciate it a lot. I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.